Sustainability is one of the business imperatives that affects all industries, not the least the telco industry. More and more CSPs are implementing top-down directives to drive innovations to reduce their impact on their services, on the planet and increasingly on their wallets as energy prices, especially in Europe, are at record levels. So what can vendors and CSPs do to address sustainability? To find out, I'm now joined by Alexandra Foster, Director of Division X at BT Business and Laura Heisman, SVP and CMO of VMware. So Alex, why is sustainability so important to you? And what is BT doing to help its customers reduce their impact on the environment? Well, sustainability, I think, is important to all of us. We won't have a tomorrow if we don't look after today. And from a BT perspective, we have really looked at sustainability. It's hardwired into our manifesto. We have a manifesto which states that by 2030, we as an organization will be net zero, net zero on carbon emissions. The other thing that we've done is really look at what we've done around electricity supply. So 100% of all of our electricity on a global basis is from renewable energy. So we're really focused in on some hard targets for us to meet and really looking at how we are supplying that. From a customer perspective, we're really looking and working with customers. We provide a plethora of services to customers, but data and data centers are big energy users. And so with that, we're working with our partners to make sure that we have got the right sort of tools, things like carbon dashboards, carbon calculators that have got embedded artificial intelligence, embedded machine learning to help them make the right decisions to be able to flex what they're doing in terms of their technology. And at VMware, it's very similar. We have the same goal of 2030 to be carbon emission net neutral. And this is part of our 2030 agenda. We have made it very public for all of our customers and our partners because it's part of our DNA. And we want to be committed to sustainability. To date, we've already saved over 1.2 billion metric tons of carbon emissions in the last 20 years through our products. So we're helping our customers this way. We're helping them save and be sustainability. Uh, here at Mobile Web Congress, it is a core theme that we are sharing with all of our customers and partners. And it's a commitment to our company, to our partners, to our customers, to everybody to help save really the world as you put it. And it's so important that companies that work together have got those similar, similar values. You know, we've got that thing in common. 2030 is our, is our joint goal. So how important are partnerships when it comes to sustainability? Well, you know, partnerships are absolutely, absolutely key. As I just said, you've got to have that alignment. When we look at our suppliers, when we look at our partners, for us to be able to deliver for our customers, our joint customers together, actually we need to be able to have customers who have got the same sustainability goals, the same sustainability targets and values. We all want sustainability to be at the forefront so that we're delivering the right green solutions, taking carbon out of the data center, taking carbon out of the network. So actually we're all improving the planet through technology. Same here, it's extremely important. For every partner that we, we work with, we also look at their sustainability goals. We want our vendors that we work with to also have matching sustainability goals. It is, like I said, part of our DNA and we want it to be part of our complete ecosystem. So Alex, what are your priorities when it comes to diversity, equity and inclusion? Well, diversity inclusion is something that's really close to, to my heart personally. But again, when I come back to that BT manifesto, we've got that hard coded. So by 2030, we've set ourselves a goal that we will be at 50% on gender as far as an organization is concerned. And we will be at 25% in terms of ethnicity. We're putting programs around that. So we have an ERAP program on ethnicity. That's our ethnic rapid acceleration program. Um, and then from a female point of view and that gender point of view, 
we've got Accelerate programs, we've got the Tech Women program, and we've got our Skills for Tomorrow program. That's not only around women within BT, but actually working with partner and partner organizations so that actually we co-join the networks together. We look at schools, where we then look and have build up the skills of women for tomorrow with barefoot computing, what we do in terms of the cyber and, and girls coding in schools from Australia to the UK and across the world. So we start to build a pipeline of female talent to come into the organisation, not just by ourselves, but in partnership. And I'm looking forward to doing more on that as part of the UN delegation for women where we've got a focus on technology and inclusion this year. And Laura, when it comes to VMware, what is your agenda when it comes to diversity? DEI, again, just like sustainability, is in our DNA and it is part of who we are. Everything that we do, we look at, and when I think about internally, it is part of all of our goals. It's from the top down, our CEO down throughout the company. We are invested in DEI throughout all parts of the business. We have uh, what we call um, pods, which are powers of difference. We have 24 of them throughout the company that range from our women's uh, groups to our Asian pod to our uh, black pod to, uh, like I said, veterans and everything that you want to be able to ensure you have an inclusive community. And my, personally, I'm the executive sponsor of our women's pod and there is nothing better than seeing the investment in the future leaders of the company amongst uh, our women's pod and investing in them. And that then helps our customers because it's important for us at VMware to represent our customers, yes. our partners. We have to. And so by having such a diverse uh, and inclusive team, we are then also looking like and being from countries and locations where all of our customers and users are, and that's what our goal is. And that diversity you just said about customers, you can see it here at Mobile World, World Congress. And yes. if, we, you know, if we don't look like our, our customers, we've all got to work hard on that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alex and Laura, thank you very much for speaking to me today. Thank you.